I think that we are actually on day one of a new Middle East. Let's take a live look for you right now at Tel Aviv as we continue to follow breaking news out of Israel. It is a new day there this morning in Tel Aviv. The country under attack. Explosions and sirens have been heard all night long and into the morning. The Israeli military says Iran has launched more than 300 drones and missiles towards Israel. Glad you were with us tonight. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Michelle Esteban. President Biden says tonight U.S. forces helped Israel shoot down nearly all of those drones. This is considered a retaliatory strike against Israel for the bombing of Iran's consulate in Syria earlier this month. President Biden cut his weekend trip to Delaware short and returned to the White House this afternoon to consult with his national security team. He says he and other leaders with the G7 will convene in response to this attack. Taking a live look now at SeaTac Airport now as Israel has closed its airspace to all flights as it prepares to defend itself against this attack. SeaTac Airport officials say they're at normal operations right now, but we're also hearing from an aviation consultant that says airports, including SeaTac, should be focusing on the potential for any new security issues. Kumos Paul Rivera is there now. He joins us live. And Paul, what impact could travelers see? Well, Michelle, as the war continues, there could be more visible airport security. There also could be more delays. What we've told airports that we work with is it's your responsibility to make sure that you have a plan. Well, it's normal operations at SeaTac, according to airport officials. Michael Boyd, who has an aviation consulting and research firm, says things could change at all airports in the country should the war between Iran and Israel intensify and become more widespread. Every commercial airport in America right now, as we're speaking, should be looking at their security plans, should be looking at their event mitigation plans, should be talking to whoever they work with the TSA about what we have to do. I mean, right now, there is a war going on. When a war goes on, it can spread very rapidly. For passengers, be aware of that. And in any case, understand that getting through airport security, or whatever they're calling security, may be a lot more difficult. Security is the largest impact Boyd sees to airports. He believes there wouldn't be any major cancellations or delays at SeaTac due to the war, although those trying to take connecting flights across the Atlantic could eventually see issues. If I was going somewhere else, maybe, but, um, you know, within the U.S. and stuff, I'm, I'm not concerned. Carol Mall from Gig Harbor is one of several travelers we talked with who don't think they'll see any problems. That said, she's going to be aware of the situation. Try and be earlier and that kind of stuff and realize that there, you know, there could be possibly holdups more concern on other people's parts. If you're going to get on that flight to Fresno, go to the airport, get going. We'll be fine now, but be aware things can change. They're launching missiles as we speak. Again, tonight, SeaTac officials say that the airport is operating under normal operations. A TSA spokesperson told me today that they are prepared and they will be addressing any potential security threats. Michelle, back to you.